The Grand National is such a famous event and so unique even in the world of horse racing. It's the one race that stops the country. You looked at the Grand National as a race you were never going to win. And if you were lucky enough to be part of, it was going to be a treat. At the Jockey Club, we're in a very fortunate position of being able to think about you know, the, the, both the short and the long term good of the entire sport. We reinvest everything we make back into making the sport thrive in the long run. And the Grand National is a really, really good, tangible example of how we do that. But our job is to make the race even safer and to reduce risk even further. Our equine athletes, their welfare is absolutely at the centre of everything we do and is central to all of the decisions that we make. So after every Grand National uh, meeting, we, we carry out a full review of everything that went on. This year we took that a little bit further and we went a bit wider speaking to various stakeholders both within the Jockey Club and outside and also outside the racing industry, also talking to welfare organisations. And we took all sorts of views on where the Grand National is now as a race and what changes we felt needed to be made to continue to evolve the race and make sure it is the safest race possible as we go into the future. One of the changes that is happening next year is that the Grand National will start a little bit earlier in the day because it allows the racecourse to provide the safest ground for horses to race on. We know that good soft ground is optimal for jump racing and research has shown that and as a result we always aim to produce good soft ground for the Grand National. Even in April if it's a relatively sunny day, if there's a bit of a breeze, the ground will dry out quite considerably and we don't want the ground to, uh, to become too hard because we know that becomes more risky for the horses. By moving to that earlier part of the day um, it allows the race course to be in optimal condition at the time of the race. We also looked at the number of runners in the race, the number of horses that are competing in the race, and we know that uh, for every, every additional horse that runs in the race, there is a slightly increased chance of each horse falling at an individual fence. Since the fences on the Grand National course were changed in 2013 and some of the landing sides were levelled, the jockeys now do not feel the need to spread out across the whole course. They are getting a competitive edge and racing around the inside, which in the old days was called the brave man's route. More people have realised that actually the shortest route is the quickest route. And all of a sudden, everyone is concertining over to one part of the track. As a result, it means that if a horse makes a mistake, if a horse falls, it has a greater impact because the horses are more tightly bunched on that inside line. And so by reducing the field size, we are giving the horses more space, the jockeys more space. One, two, three, even six horses will make, in my opinion, a considerable difference. When looking at this, we looked at lower numbers, but there was a concern that if we reduce the field size too far, we're going to create a faster and effectively more dangerous race. 34 runners maintain the balance between a safer race and a competitive race. Having discussed the start with the BHA starting team, course inspectorate, um, some past and present jockeys, the decision was made that a standing start would be introduced for all races over the Grand National fences. Because with a rolling start, people weren't using the full width of the track anymore because they didn't need to line up wide. So it became much tighter, much narrower, and more of the horses were racing to the first fence on the inside third of the track. So a standing start will create an automatic spread on the field That'll give more room going to the first fence and by weight and coming from a standing start, hopefully it'll create less speed. Data analysis by Aintree Racecourse has demonstrated that horses are approaching that first fence faster than ever before and we know that this makes it more dangerous for them when jumping. So by reducing that distance between the first fence and the start, it means that horses can't build up the speed that they would have done previously. I think it's an evolution. No, nobody likes change, but unfortunately 
the world is changing and every sport has changed and racing has to change too and we have to be prepared to evolve if we're going to ensure the safety of the Grand National. I think we can be very proud of the fact that we have made these changes, we've been decisive in our thinking in terms of what we believe will work and indeed what we believe will not work and we will look forward to a fantastic race in 2024.